Good morning, I have got my coffee. We are in the kitchen bright and early today. I am the most excited because I have never made a quiche and I have always wanted to. Gosh, it just sounds so good. And I saw my friend Amber over at Feeding the Birds. She made one that sounded so delicious. And I told Bunky when we watched it, I'm like, I am making that. And we're actually gonna be camping this week for my birthday. And so I was like, let's make a quiche and just have that for breakfast. It'll be so good. So we're gonna get started on that. And then I'm also gonna make the most delicious sounding crock pot recipe for dinner. Like my Bunky, there's the oven. My bunkie is gonna be obsessed with it. So we're gonna get that in the crock pot as well. For this quiche, I have my oven preheated to 400. I'm gonna grab a fork. And then I just have like one of these frozen little um, pie crusts. And I let this thaw and I'm gonna poke like some forks down here. Some forks. <laughs> I'm gonna fork some holes. Is that what you say? <laughs> I'm gonna fork this pie um, just a little bit. And even like up on the sides, hang on, let's with one hand. Okay, even get like over here on the sides just a little bit. And then we're gonna put this in the oven for like 10 minutes. And then while that's in the oven, we'll go ahead and like assemble all the things that's gonna go in our quiche. And then we'll fill this bad boy up and get it back in the oven. So now for our filling, I have my pan over here over like a medium high heat with a little bit of oil. And then I have these Simply Potatoes. These are the like refrigerated hash browns, not the frozen ones. And I think they're like near the bacon and sausage in your grocery store. And you can use shredded or the cubed, whatever floats your boat. Now the recipe calls for onions. And of course, you know, I'm not adding them in here, but if you want onions in your quiche, you would just dice them up and cook them with your potatoes. And just so you know, Bunky is so sad <laughs> that I'm not adding these onions in. He was like, Bunky, you have to add them. I was like, no, I do not <laughs> because I really want to eat this quiche and I won't eat it if they're in there. Well, I didn't mean to add that many in. <laughs> But I guess I'll just have some hash browns for breakfast right now as well. I think we're gonna need a little bit more oil. Now to season these, you can add whatever seasonings you like. Since I'm not putting onions in there, I will give it a little bit of onion powder just to taste. And then of course I'm using some cracker for parmesan because I put it on everything. But if you like like a Lowry season salt or something like that, feel free to use whatever you love. And then I'm gonna hit him with just a little bit of salt. So now that our pie crust is out of the oven, I have a little bowl here. I'm gonna add four eggs, some half and half, and because I am who I am, <laughs> the recipe isn't called for this, but I'm gonna add a little splash of some Frank's Red Hot in there, and then some salt and pepper, and we'll whisk this together. Now, one and one fourth cup of half and half. Some hot sauce. I totally forgot to show y'all. Um, I put six pieces of bacon on a baking sheet and once I got this pie crust out of the oven, I just put this in the oven and it took like, mm, 15, 20 minutes to cook. So while I finished getting everything else ready, I had to wait on this for like two minutes and then it was ready. So like perfect timing. Um, or you can just fry it on the stove top, however you wanna do it, but you do need six pieces of crumbled cooked bacon. So we're gonna start with a layer of potatoes. We're gonna kind of build and layer this thing. So just kind of zhuzh them around and then bacon. Okay, it is cheese time and Daisy is excited. <laughs> so she's down here howling. So we're gonna do a mixture of Swiss and cheddar. And I just have these like Swiss cheese slices. So I'm just gonna kind of tear them apart and layer it on. Then a little bit of cheddar. Okay, fun fact. So I may or may not have gotten the wrong pie crust because this recipe actually calls for a refrigerated pie crust and I got the one out of the freezer. And I think this one is a lot smaller than the refrigerated pie crust. Either way you do it, it's gonna work and it's totally fine. I mean, it's like the same thing. I just think that the recipe that I'm going off of, there's um, 
larger amounts of things and they're not all gonna fit in my tiny little pie crust so this one may just be a little bit smaller and we may have extra hash browns and bacon left over but like i'm not mad about that okay another layer of hash browns we're just going to repeat this process so hash browns bacon cheese and then we'll pour over our egg mixture and it may end up all fitting but i'm just letting you know if it doesn't that's okay too I mean, y'all, my mouth is literally watering. Like, I just wanna eat this right now. Okay, now we're just gonna pour our egg mixture ever so gently right on top. You know what? I think this is all going to fit. Maybe they're the same size. Ooh, nope, we're getting close, okay. So I reduced our heat down to 350 and then we're just gonna pop this in the oven for about 45 minutes. Well, now that I did not catch the house on fire putting the quiche in the oven, I was quite scared that I did because I dropped a piece of cheese. Hang on, let me rewind. I forgot to add cheese to our second layer. So then I was like, oh goodness, I need to put it on top of my quiche. So then I tried to get the quiche out, but I spilled egg mixture in the oven. And then as I'm trying to put the cheese on top of the quiche, the cheese falls to the bottom of the oven. And I'm like, Bucky! <laughs> Cause I was so scared I was gonna catch the house on fire. But we're all good. It's cooking, it's got like 45 minutes to cook in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our crock pot recipe on. And we are making slow cooker drip beef sandwiches. Y'all, I cannot wait. We've never made this. You're gonna love it, aren't you, Bunky? I'm real excited about this one, yeah. We're gonna toast our buns later and melt like provolone cheese on there. And then I'm gonna make a bunch of like sauteed onions or mm -hmm. caramelized onions, mm -hmm. I mean. And you're gonna pile those on top. Oh my God. Mine's gonna be like minus onion, but y'all, it is going to be so good. And guess what it like cooks with? Pepperoncini. No. And some of the juice. So oh, okay. My favorite, my favorite flavors ever. Wow, mm -hmm. so it's gonna be like the Mississippi pot roast kind Semi, of. Semi, but yeah. not really. No, oh, you're not putting the uh, gravy packet in there. Or ranch or anything, just okay. the pepperoncinis, okay? Oh yeah, oh okay, yeah. Okay, come with me. Now we don't have any beef broth, but y'all know we love all of the better than bouillon stuff better. I think it gives way more intense, amazing flavor. And I feel like it's much more household friendly because yeah. if you're not going to use that whole carton of beef stock or broth or whatever, yeah. you just end up with all this leftover. And, and we it, never really use beef broth. Right. So when you got this, very long shelf life stable. Yes. And it's so good, y'all. It's so good. I'm just going to put like a little tablespoon of my mixture in here. And then if you've got a microwave, you can totally microwave some water, but since we don't, we just boil ours. I'll pour it right in. I don't know how much we need, so I'm just gonna put that much. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. It'll melt right off your spoon <laughs> right. and give it a stir. And this right here is just yummy delicious. And there you have it. So easy. Look at that flavor. I, I, mean, know. I don't have the flavor, the color. We're gonna cook this on low today. And our little thing doesn't really work anymore, so I gotta like look at it from different angles. Yeah, we can our our little L C D screen there is not not too uh, not too not, bright. Yeah. Um okay, I put it on seven hours. So you're gonna need a beef chuck roast. And since it's just me and Bunky, I got like this really small one. Now mm. if you have a larger one for a larger family, it's gonna need to cook on low for probably like seven hours because you want it to be nice and tender this one probably won't take that long just because it's smaller okay, so i went ahead and greased my crock pot and then got my chuck roast in here and then i'm gonna go ahead and like kind of mince up this rosemary we're gonna sprinkle that on top now some salt and pepper the recipe calls for one cup of beef broth. Since ours is smaller, I'm probably just gonna do like half a cup right now and then I'll have more later if it needs it. And then last thing we're gonna add in there is about a quarter of this jar of pepperoncinis with their juice. Okay, that's it. Pop a lid on and let this cook on low. Like I said, this will probably take about four to five hours for us. And then we'll finish making everything here in a little bit. This quiche is like a thing of beauty. It looks 
amazing. The hardest part is going to be like <laughs> letting it cool, but it does need to sit here for like 15 minutes to just kind of rest and come together. So I'm going to let it cool off while I'm like over here salivating, but I cannot wait to dig in. Okay, we made our quiche. We've got our dinner on in the crock pot for tonight. So we are like ahead of schedule today. And it's also sheet washing day in the bunky household. So I've already went ahead and stripped the beds. And funny enough, we're actually taking those sheets and putting them in our new camper. Um, we have a king size bed in our camper. And so I ordered another pair of Brooklinen sheets because we love them so much. They are in this room on our bed. They are in our guest bedroom now they're in our camper so basically we don't sleep without our brooklyn and cheeks because they are seriously that good so thank you so much to brooklyn for sponsoring today's video i wanted to show you guys how they come packaged and then what comes in the hardcore luxe bundle set that's what we always order because you get like your normal fitted sheet top sheet two pillowcases but then you also get two extra pillowcases and you get a duvet cover and when you order them in the bundle instead of like doing it separately it saves you like 25 percent so it's going to come in this pretty box and then when you open it up you have your pillowcases you have your duvet cover this is like such a nice thing to have easily washable easily washable you then have all of your sheets so your flat sheet fitted sheet and then the two pillowcases i so wish there was a way for you to like fill these <laughs> through the screen but truly it is like such a gift to us to get in bed every night and have the comfort of these sheets they're incredible and that's why we have them on our guest bed as well because we want all our friends and family to come and stay with us and enjoy the luxuries of Brooklyn and Cheeks because they are truly like outstanding. So if you have not heard me rave about Brooklyn and they are a luxury sheet company and they were founded on this philosophy that like every home should have very simple and beautiful home essentials but at a fair price and Bunky and I have never really invested in a nice sheet set up until a couple years ago when we started getting our Brooklyn in. So we always had kind of like a lower quality. And we start thinking about it and we're like, you know, you spend so much of your life in bed. About one third of it. It is one third of it. One yeah. third of your life you spend in bed. And we're like, well, why would we not invest in like really good sheets, you know? And it was the best decision we ever made. And now we have them on all of our beds, including our RV. Yep. <laughs> this is just like one more thing that I love. Whenever you put the pillowcases on, it has like this little, um, I don't know what to call it, almost like a little pocket that you fold back over top of your pillow. And that way, like it never scoots out. Whenever you make your bed, it just looks cleaner. Your like pillow isn't poking out anywhere. You can't see it. I don't know. It's just like the little things to me that make such a difference. Okay, so I want to show you before I actually like put these on and make my bed. Hopefully you can see, but they have just like a slight luminous finish to them and they are a luxe sateen. I mean, you talk about like the ultimate bedding upgrade. So fun fact, Brooklyn sheets actually get softer with every wash. It's like the more you wash them, the more amazing they're going to feel. And this is no joke. They have over 100,000 five-star reviews. That is like insane, but that just shows you how tried and true they really are. Okay, bed is made and I honestly just wanna go crawl into it right now because it looks so inviting. <laughs> you can choose to mix and match from 20 plus colors and patterns to fit your particular style. And the best part is that you can shop all of this from the comfort of your home. I am so excited to tell you guys that Brooklyn is actually offering all of my viewers a special discount. So you're going to get $20 off any order of $100 or more. All you have to do is click that link down below and use code Jessica O. <laughs> I don't want to poke a hole in the bottom either. You know? It's a, it's a, um. Oh. Oh, that, thank goodness for the corks under there. <laughs> yeah, because that just went through. How am I, how am I getting this up without making a mess? Well, the first piece of pie is always the hardest. Okay, well, that makes me feel better. Oh, I know a trick, actually. Okay, show us. I, th I think. Oh, and you're just making me take over here, huh? Yeah. I think I've seen something where you like. Oh, if you like cut. Yeah, I think you like cut the, the top edge there. I happen to have a pair of scissors right here. No, I think I, pu I pulled it down. I think it's gonna okay. achieve the same result. <gasps> Bunky, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, that. that is a beauty right there. Hmm, fork please. 
Yo, I am proud of that. This is my very first quiche ever. Well, you did a good job. I feel proud of this. Wow. This is like a true breakfast quiche. Yeah. Hmm. I like that. It's good? Yeah. You would love your onions in it. Or like some green scallions on top. Oh, that would be good. That would be good. I would like some onions in there, but you know, something, what kind of spice? You put that Frank's in here. Yeah, and I put a little bit of onion powder. Mm-hmm. See, I can still taste it because it's still got a lot of flavor. Okay. Like it's not just potato, egg, bacon, cheese. Yeah. There's like, there's some flavor in there. Okay, I'm proud of it. Okay, sorry the lighting in here is weird, but now that we got our bed made, I would say since Easter is over, it's probably time that I take these bunnies away. So I'm going to put these up and then hopefully redecorate our shelves. I'm probably going to leave most of this and just try to add a few little like spring or summery touches to it. Well, here is the deal. So I, first of all, wanted this to go over this coral so badly because how beautiful would that be? But it just will not fit. But I kind of still love the way this looks like up here on this little pedestal. So I might just leave that and then find something else to do with just the cloche part. Like I could put like a really pretty candle under here or something. So I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do there. And then up here, I like just my little jars. So I'm gonna leave those. And then all of my summer and like lemon decor, Funky just informed me is up high in our garage like he cannot get to it right now and i obviously cannot get to it so my thought is that i will do something summery or like with lemons over here and then i have a really cute summer sign that i'll probably put here um but for right now i'm just gonna leave it like this i like our little snake plant i think that's more summery um so i cannot finish decorating my shelves today but at least i got the bunnies <laughs> take it away So I did change this picture out as well. I had that other little Easter stuff here and I put like my favorite picture of me and Bunky. I think it looks so sweet. These onions, y'all, I have to tell you, <laughs> I'm laughing because, you know, I despise them, but something about cooked onions smells so good to me and they look so appetizing. I just like can't eat them, but they're smelling great. Roast is done. I need to take it out and then shred it up and then we're gonna put it back in here get all those nice juices on there and then get some of the juice out to actually dip our sandwiches in. Do you want to be the roast getter router shredderer? <laughs> that sounds like a job for me, Bomb. It does. I keep thinking of uh, how the Grinch stole Christmas. Uh-huh. Because isn't there a reference to roast in that? I think there is. <laughs> in that movie? Oh, this is uh... Is it nice and tender? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Bonky. We never make a roast like this. Which, what is uh is that like all the good drippings yeah so make sure you leave that just shred this apart really good i'm not left-handed i'm trying to trying to use my left hand here how am i doing doing good I, this is making me want to make the mississippi pot roast because we always just do it chicken style yeah we've had i mean either way it's delicious but yeah like but I have a feeling this is going to be, like, incredible. Oh, yeah. And you're eating it in sandwich form. Hello. What do you think? You tasted it? I did. It's good. You know, I think I used to eat this a lot when I was a kid. Oh, really? I mean, just have it with mashed potatoes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And probably one of my favorite vegetables. What? Canned green peas. Green peas? No, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> 
But your mom did used to make those, didn't she? Yeah. I say I, make them. She's the hang up on the stove. Yeah, just out of the can. Y'all will have to tell us down below if you actually like canned green peas because I don't think there's like a worse vegetable. You know, they were okay. The only way I could really eat them is I would I would combine them with the mashed potatoes. Then they're okay. Like I would have a little mashed potato and peas together. Oh no. That, that would get me by. I don't think I can like do them at all. Okay. Get this nice and juicy. I'll we'll get our bread assembled with our cheese and onions and pop it under the broiler like y'all. I cannot. I cannot. Okay. That beef but by itself. It's really I good. Know. Just the pepperoncinis in there. I know because there's a little kick in there. It's not as spicy as the uh, Mississippi. Mississippi pot roast gets. Um, but there's like a little tinge to the tongue. Mm -hmm. They imparted some good flavor in there. They did. These look amazing. So we're gonna take our buns over here and then split them in half. Add cheese to one side or both sides if you want to, you know. We're go I'm, I'm going with two slices. Two slices. Yeah. Pile on the onions and we're going to pop this under the boiler for just a minute. Sorry the lighting is so weird in here. It's like that time of day. The sun is shining bright. I went back and read the recipe again and you're actually supposed to spread butter, broil them, and then assemble, broil one more time to like melt the cheese. So since I don't have any butter that's at room temperature, I'm just going to use our spray butter. <laughs> Because you use what you have, you know? Hey, I, I think that's accomplishing the goal here. It is. This is perfect. Okay, so you just pulled these out of the broiler. I see how they got like all of those little brown pieces. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna layer a piece of cheese on each slice of bread. You want a lot of onions? Um, as many as you can pile on there, please. Okay. Okay, well, these onions got nice and caramelized. Oh my word. Oh, that's probably good. That's good? Yeah. Oh, it's like an onion sandwich, bum. <laughs> wow. I won't complain though. I know you won't. So just pile your meat right on top. Get some of those pepper cheetahs and the juice, all the stuff. Going to yours. Mm hmm. Wow. Oh my gosh. All the juices going into those onions, monkey. Yeah. And I like the, uh, the cheese in between is kind of like a little layer of protection. To the bun. Yeah. Agreed. Do you see these things? We got y'all turned down so low you can't see them. Oh, my bad. Wow, that's way better. Now, these are going right back in the broiler. And we got top cheese going to melt. Well, cheese is supposed to go like this. Is that, is that how you want to do it? Um, Let's do an experiment. You put yours on top and I'll, I'll leave mine uncovered. Okay. Well, I'm back in for just one minute. <laughs> Tell me what you did. <clears throat> well, I didn't think things through very well. <laughs> we, we left an exposed bun, because yours has cheese bottom, beef, cheese top, no cheese protecting the bun. I have cheese, onion, beef, cheese protecting the bun. So now my bun is like a little crispy. I, I think, you know, I think it's gonna be good. I, you know what, I think it's gonna be fine, honestly. Yeah. I'm not mad about it. But, I mean, can we take a moment? Can we just take one second for this? <gasps> We can only take like five more seconds because I want to dig in. Oh my word. Then I have all of this like au jus, is that what you call it? The gravy. <laughs> Although it's not au jus gravy, that's but the that's the love juice. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, look at that cheese. Can you see the tears? You're crying. <laughs> this is just everything. It's everything. Mm -hmm. Was there a particular type of bun you were supposed to buy? You don't think that's the right bun? No, I think it's the perfect bun. Oh. It reminds me of like a sub roll almost, like in the form yeah. of a bun. So I got, um, they're called bulky. Yeah. They're fantastic. Bulky rolls? And then. New York style? The onions are like a little sweet. Oh yeah. They're bringing a little sweet factor. The provolone cheese, being melty is awesome. The beef is so good, especially with a little bit of pepperoncini. Uh huh. I like that's like a manwich. I just <laughs> this is like a man. This is almost like you know a sloppy Joe for adults. Oh, because look like look at. I yeah. mean, you don't want to eat this at a sit down dinner like uh. with friends. This is for you to devour and close friends to have juices are running down the elbows hands oh. they're everywhere 
Mm. One of your favorite things. Bumpkin. We cannot forget about this one. <laughs> so good. Okay, I have multiple things that I want to tell you guys. First of all, I feel like this is one of the best dinners like we've made. Yeah. I mean, it's like one of those favorite dinners that's like up there in the top 10. For sure. 100% like if you, you, you gotta make it, you gotta make it. And I wanna say this too. So it's like a guilty pleasure type of meal. And I uh -huh. completely recommend going with the two pieces of cheese. Yes, for sure. Don't like, short yourself. Like my lips are still just, I can't, I can't explain yeah, it, okay? Like I wanted to eat a second one. Same. Um, I wanna say this too though, because sometimes with like big roast meals, I'm kind of like, I tend to not make them a lot of times because it's just being bunky and I don't want to have like, you know, so much leftover that like we're not going to be able to eat it all. But I actually found this little perfect roast in mm -hmm. Food Lion that was the perfect size for Bunky and I. We have enough leftovers to have a sandwich tomorrow and it wasn't too much. So like if you're just like me and Bunky and it's just you two, um, there is a size for you in the grocery store. So don't be afraid to make it. Yeah. And then, you know, for a family, your family is going to love this, okay? <laughs> right, they will. Yes. Now, next thing. Also recommend make lots of onions. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And see, I loved it so much without onions. Like, I can't even imagine with onions. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Dude. Yes. <laughs> you know, A battery's going to run dead. You know what would be good? What? You know how there's, like, the uh, crispy onions that you put on green bean casserole? Yes. You could put that on there instead of sauteed onions. You could. Oh my gosh. Yes. Possibilities okay. are endless. People. Great idea. Um, next thing, I was intimidated to make a quiche. You know, I just always thought that I was like really hard to do, but it was so easy. I'm so glad that I did it. So, all of this to say is like, wow, I tried something new today. I made a dish I normally wouldn't make, and it like paid off so much. The quiche turned out amazing. It was so easy. I think it was just such a fun, great day in the kitchen. Yeah, we ate good today. We ate really good today. So, I time for a walk. It is time for a walk. So anyway, we're gonna go do that. <laughs> so try these. Tell me what you think. Also, don't forget to check out Brooklyn down below. Twenty dollars off any order over a hundred dollars just for you guys. I'm so excited about that. Also, subscribe if you're new and join our family. Give this one a thumbs up. We love you so very much, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.